So here we have a problem involving three spheres. Sphere A, which are the volume of X, a density of 0.8. Sphere B, which are the volume of Y, a density of 1.2. And sphere C, which are the mass of 9.6 and a density of 1.1. And spheres A and B are melted down to make sphere C. And we're going to use this information to work out the surface area of sphere B. So this is quite complicated, but we're going to begin by writing down the formula for the surface area of a sphere, and this is for pi r squared. So to work out the radius, which we need to work out the surface area, we're going to work out the volume. And the volume of sphere B is here, y centimeters cubed. So we need to work out the value of y. And to do this, I'm going to use simultaneous equations with this information. So it tells us that sphere A has a density of 0.8 and its density is equal to mass of the volume and the volume is x. So we can replace the V with x and we can rearrange this to make mass is equal to 0.8x. I've moved this x to the other side by multiplying it. And sphere B, we can use the same idea. The density, which is 1.2, is equal to the mass of volume, which is y. We can rearrange this to make mass is equal to 1.2y. And if we combine these two masses together, when they are melted down, they will make the mass of sphere C. So 0.8x sphere A plus 1.2y sphere B will have a total mass of 9.6 grams. So this is one of our simultaneous equations. Our other equation we can get using this information here. For sphere C, we know the density 1.1 is equal to the mass of 9.6 divided by the volume. And the volume will be the sum of sphere A and sphere B, which is x plus y. We can rearrange this to make 1.1 lots of x plus y is equal to 9.6. We can expand these brackets out. So we have 1.1x plus 1.1y is equal to 9.6. And these are the two equations we can solve simultaneously to work out the value of y. So to solve them simultaneously, I only need to work out the value of y, which is the volume of sphere b. I'm going to eliminate the x. To do this, I'm going to divide this equation by 0.8 because 0.8 divided by itself will make 1. So we have x plus 1.2 divided by 0.8, which is 1.51, y. And 9.6 divided by 0.8 is 12. I divide the orange equation by 1.1. So then we've got the same coefficient of x. So we have x plus y is equal to 9.6 divided by 1.1, which is 8.727. I can subtract the orange from the purple, and this will eliminate the x. So we have 0.5y is equal to 12, take away 8.727, which is 3.27. So now we have 0.5y is approximately 3.3. I can multiply both sides by 2, so I have y is equal to approximately 6.6. .6. And remember that y is the volume of sphere B. So in this volume, 6.6 .6 has a formula of 4 thirds pi r cubed. I can now rearrange this formula to make r the subject. And multiply both sides by 3. And these will cancel. So we have 19.8 is equal to 4 pi r cubed. 
divide both sides by 4 pi. And these will cancel. So 1.576 is approximately the radius cubed. I can take the cube root of both sides. And these will cancel. So the radius of sphere B will be approximately 1.16. And finally, I can use this radius to work out the surface area of sphere B. And this is 4 pi r squared. We know the radius is 1.16. So the surface area is approximately 17 centimeters squared. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.